Hey everyone, and thank you all so much for tuning in to Talk About Real, where we have real conversations about a real God. My name is Bianca, and I am so glad that you're here today. Hi everyone, and thank you guys so much for tuning in to Talk About Real. I am so excited about today's episode. You guys are going to have the opportunity to meet Janet Harley. Janet is a fellow podcaster. She's a broadcaster. She's an author. She's a storyteller and a speaker. And we are just so honored to have her here today. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and introduce her. (laughs) Hi, Janet. Hi, Bianca. Oh, what a (laughs) it's an honor to be uh on your podcast yeah it is such an honor to have you you and i met through the wonderful lauren from godly yes. yeah yes. That i was on your show and so here you are on talk about real and it's yeah just such an honor yeah to you. isn't lauren so, wonderful she is just uh one of the sweetest uh people i know and i and bless her she's she's just doing great she's doing great she's a god godsend and i just have to plug her show if you guys yes, have not me too yeah have absolutely watch her show it is amazing she has it people is. come on from all over the world and share their testimonies so she's encouraged me so much so yeah, me too. yeah i'm so glad that we yeah. met we've had the opportunity to chat since meeting yes and just, you know she linked us yes absolutely <laughs> she linked me to so many people <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So could you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you came to know the Lord? Well, um, first of all, let me say, Bianca, that uh, it's such an honor to be uh, on your podcast. I have watched you and you are wonderful as well. And, and you're just doing great. And and uh, you're such a blessing and encouragement. So thank you for asking me. And likewise, same to you, all of the above. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, about a little bit about me. Um I uh, I retired uh, about uh, four years ago, and I uh, was uh, working for a nonprofit organization. Wow. I've worked in corporate and nonprofit world uh, wow. in my professional career, and uh, I studied theater and wow. have done some uh, community theaters. I've done some summer stock as well, mm-hmm. and uh, had the opportunity of working in uh, television and also radio. Wow. So God has opened a lot of doors for me to, to be able uh, to use gifts that he has given me. So uh, he, he is uh, uh, so good and faithful. Yes. So good and faithful. And when I retired, I asked the Lord, okay, what do you want me to do now? Because God's work never ends. <laughs> never ends. Yes. So uh, he laid uh, the uh, podcast, broadcast, video podcast of faith in an ever changing world, encouragement and hope on my heart. And uh, of course, we're living in an ever-changing world. Mm-hmm. So yes, I yeah. started out uh, uh, interviewing people about their faith stories wow. and how faith has impacted uh, their lives. Right. And uh, of course, we all have faith stories. It could be our testimonies, our own mm-hmm. stories, things that have happened to us in our life, yeah. maybe how we've been brought up. Yeah. So uh, people began sharing uh, their faith stories. And then I got to meet some of the faith based actors and actresses through through the Internet, through Facebook. And Mm -hmm. uh, so got to uh, to know some of them and, and started interviewing some of them. And it it just sort of led into, you know, beginning to be more of that. Uh, Directors, producers, filmmakers. uh, And of course, that is a a part of uh, my life that I am interested in. So uh, God has certainly opened up uh, those doors so that I could uh, be able to get to know them and the wonderful work that they are doing. Yes, uh, faith-based industry, 
and in family entertainment as well. And of course, we need more and more and more of that. Um, yeah, in times such as this. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, I agree, one hundred percent, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, did you know, as a young child, that you wanted to get into theater and you wanted to be part of this, this world, this acting and all of that showbiz? And I did. Oh. I did. I've always <laughs> wanted to be an actress. And I can remember uh, me and my sister and some neighborhood kids, we put together a skit and we invited our parents to come and it was in our basement. And we put up this quilt, that hung the quilt with uh, uh, pins, you know, on the uh, yeah. clothes pins to the yeah. lines that we had in the basement to hang up clothes. And so we had that quilt and that was our curtain. Yeah. So we just had a ball. And of course, oh. our parents were were thrilled and and uh, all of that. And and I think uh, my neighbor even took um, some video footage of that. And oh, wow. so they still have it, I think. <laughs> oh. But it was just a lot of fun. And so when I got to high school, um, became interested in uh, participating in the school plays. And I remember getting a book, How to Get to Hollywood. And I read that book, I don't know how many times. And uh, so I even remember uh, uh, some one of my friends uh, wanted to be my manager. So we, we just had this, this whole thing planned out. <laughs> but uh, like when I went to, graduated from high school then and went to college, I majored in uh, theater and English. And wow. so uh, got to uh, have an opportunity to do uh, some summer stock through all mm -hmm. of that. And it was just amazing. It was amazing. And uh, so got to know some people and uh, made some good friends through that. And uh, so then went uh, after graduating from college, of course, uh, you know, life happens. And uh, m the school I went to actually offered me a, a position, a job. And so I did that uh, for a few years and then um, just uh, uh, went from there, you know. And, and so every thing, all the, the, the jobs that I have had in my professional life have been in public relations or in communications. So all of it. So my theater has helped me so much. And I keep thanking my um, drama professor, uh, yeah. just thanking him for uh, all that he taught us because mm -hmm. learning theater, uh, you learn um, to, you, you learn poise, you learn right. stage presence, mm -hmm. you learn confidence in yourself and you need all these things in whatever you do in life. Yes. So uh, it has certainly helped me in, in every uh, everything I've ever done um, in my professional career. So, uh, and I feel like that maybe, as I mentioned to you in the green room, uh, mm -hmm. that maybe God is calling me back into some part of, of this uh, theater and um, and so forth. So I um, so I'm looking forward to seeing what the Lord has for me next. <laughs> that is incredible. That is that's so amazing that you said that since you're just a child that you just this is something that you loved. Yeah, and yes. God is so good too. He doesn't forget that, and I think that He plants that inside of us. You I know, think so too. Yeah. Yeah, we all have mm -hmm. a calling and, and a gift, and I think He plants that in us, and yes. He, it's just it's just part of who who we are and yeah. uh, who we were yeah. created to be. That is so exciting. absolutely, yeah. absolutely, and and I had three uncles who were ministers. Wow! Uh, so right. my, in my family, so <laughs> yeah, and uh, it, it was just uh, it was just wonderful. We had a very close uh, family. Wow. And uh, so, but at the age of nine, uh, actually, I was in a, a theater watching uh, in my hometown, uh, watching um, 
the King of Kings, the movie, the King of Kings. Okay. And that's when I felt convicted by yeah. the Lord. Uh, and so uh, I just uh, wanted to dedicate my life to him and, of course, accept uh, Jesus as my savior. Yeah. And um, so, uh, oh, yeah. yeah. And sure. so that was just it. To, but for me sitting in a theater watching a movie, uh, it just uh, was kind of a little ironic for that. So, right. uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, but um, anyway, that sort of uh, sums me up a little bit. And uh, uh, of course, I turned a year older recently. And oh. When you're in the fourth quarter, you look at things a little bit uh, in a in a different perspective. Mm -hmm. uh, there there is an urgency uh, mm -hmm. feeling, and uh, so you want to finish well. And mm -hmm. uh, so, but I am able. I am still able, and the Lord has just blessed me in so many ways. And a good husband. Uh, family, Aww. loving family. And so, you know, God is good. And yes. I can see, uh, look back and see, and I can see now the goodness of God, the goodness Amen. of God. Wow. That is, <laughs> that is so powerful. Mm. And now looking back at your life, has there been a time in your life that God called you to do something and that you went ahead and you did exactly what God had, you were obedient and you did what God called you to do? Yes. Um, I remember the first thing that comes to my mind is uh, a time when my, my dad uh, passed away with COPD. Mm -hmm. awesome. But at that time, he was getting more sick. And so I just felt, and Robert and I let, uh, lived out of town and mm -hmm. I, I felt the urgency uh, mm -hmm. that I needed to get back home Ooh. to help my mother and okay. to help take care of my dad. Mm -hmm. So um, Robert and I talked about it. And uh, of course we were, we were willing to, to do that. And, and I said, and I prayed and I said, Lord, um, in order for us to move, I need a job and um, we need a place to live. So, uh, and my husband retired early. So, uh, so it happened. He provided a place for us to live and he provided uh, a place for me to work. And so those were the two things that, uh, that we needed, you know, in order to make the move. So that's what we did. And um, we have been here ever since <laughs> in my hometown. Oh my <laughs> we have not left. <laughs> because after my, mm -hmm, after my dad passed away, uh, then um, we had my mom. And so um, she, she was doing well. Um, and, and then it, it and when she got into her 90s, mm -hmm. that's when we noticed uh, a, a difference, a change. Okay. And okay. so uh, she um, had Alzheimer's. So as her dementia and all uh, increased and we moved in with her, you know, oh. to help take care of her for for a while. Mm -hmm. um, but um, I can also see uh uh, God's uh, goodness in that uh, while I was helping with my dad, I was working with hospice. Mm -hmm. And so hospice was able to come in uh, and help uh, toward the end with him. And oh. then um, when my mom needed a place, uh, I was working at, um, at an assisted living uh, memory care. Uh, and assisted living. So I was doing the admissions and marketing uh, for for them. So I was able to uh, have her with me. Wow. Uh, and uh, yeah, it, because she moved into our memory care. So wow. see how God works. You know, God just provides uh, for our needs. And um, the 
other time that uh, that I, that comes to my mind is uh, about four years ago when I retired and God mm -hmm. called me to uh, to do the podcast Faith in an Ever Changing World. So um, and I I'm still doing it. It'll be four years in September that I'll be. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's uh, it's on other platforms. It's on huh. Abundant TV Network. Wow. And I want to give a shout out to them because uh, they are absolutely wonderful. Oh. And uh, it's a great network for you and your family. So, yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. I love how God is just, he's moving and he's working in this entertainment industry. And there's so many awesome options now for Christian families as far as different networks Absolutely. that we can watch and incredible mm -hmm. content like your show, you yeah. know, and it's, it's, it's oh, just, God is, God is so good to do that. Can you tell us a little bit more about your show and um, just what, it, what you feature and, and all of that and what you okay. experience? Okay. <laughs> we'll be glad to. Thank you. Um, Faith in an ever-changing world, encouragement and hope. Uh, I want to be an encourager uh, mm -hmm. and give people hope in the in these days and times. And so I, um, it's every Tuesday on Facebook and YouTube, mm -hmm. and then it's on Abundant TV. But it's every Tuesday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern time yes. on Facebook and YouTube. And then uh, after that, they can uh, be able to see it on Abundant TV and uh, they're on a uh, multiple platforms as well. So um, and I'm branching out from that. So there there are just lots of ways that uh, you'll be able to see it. And um, but uh, I have authors on as well. Uh, and and because there are people who write books either uh about experiences in their life or uh, they write books for teaching and yeah. so um, certainly uh, want to include them as well mm -hmm. and more encouragement you know? yes absolutely absolutely yes <laughs> so how has podcasting changed your life well well, it keeps me busy, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> as you know. <laughs> yeah, it's just yeah. not, hey, uh, a show that appears. <laughs> <Right. laughs> exactly. It's, um, yeah, and hopefully I'll be able to uh, have it on a little more often, uh, have more guests, and uh, maybe do some uh, topical uh, having some topics discussed and things like that in the future. So that's, that's where I'd like for it uh, to continue to, to grow. But yeah, it, is, it certainly keeps me busy and uh, coordinating, uh, scheduling, of course, and uh, being able to schedule ahead enough that you can, um, and I record, I pre-record um, mm -hmm. the shows now. I used to go live, but um, I've learned that uh, it's just easier for me uh, and, and in my situation to be able to record mm -hmm. the shows and then schedule them to uh, air and they look live uh, as, it, as they're on. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, it's a constant. And of course, you want to do your promos um, mm -hmm. for the guests. And uh, so, so you're uh, actively doing that, and yeah. uh, and if, if things happen and you need to reschedule and and these kinds of things, um, of course the you, you know you're you're able to do that too. So yeah. <laughs> it's a full time job actually. It it really is. I was telling my husband the other day, it's a full time job. It really is. <laughs> Which I love. I absolutely love it. <laughs> oh, I yes. Love it. Yes. I, I love doing it. And and so many brothers and sisters I have now from all <laughs> over. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You meet these incredible people and then you want them as part of your life. And, you know, you want to meet with them or see them in person or yeah. hang out with them all the time. But you know, uh -huh. they've got their lives. And so... <laughs> like, oh, online, but it's still absolutely it's awesome. absolutely I that. and i love just that we're all kind of this community and we're all doing it together and we we're all 
you know, there's no competition or anything like that. It's just yeah. when you think about the bigger picture of all yeah. of these people from all around the world, just coming together and just giving glory to the Lord. It's such an awesome, oh, yeah. it's, you know, just evidence. Absolutely. Like, yes. That's yeah. right. That's right. And giving glory to the Lord is what we want to do. Amen. Uh, without him, we can't do anything. Amen. So Amen. Uh, he has to work in and through us. Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. And this is a process too. Podcasting is a, a process of him working through us. You know, we're reaching others and giving oh, others yes. their, their platform and the ability to share their, their God yes. stories. And he's yes. also talking about while we listen to their stories. I'm yeah. always every time I hear someone's story, even listening to your story, it just, it spoke to me. It's so many different things that you, that you oh, mentioned yeah. today. Yeah. Good. You may not have realized it, but I knew I needed to hear that today. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. How so, you and you it? always want, I'm sorry. Uh, you always want to, um, be able to uh, re, uh, hope that your listeners or watchers, viewers, uh, will be able to relate uh, to your guest or to something you may say. Yeah. So that's, uh, yeah, you want to be and able God to God do does that. that. I feel like that God just, he makes a way, you know, he, he always finds a way to he does. bring everything together and yeah, he is our way maker. <laughs> yes. And it's all about him. This is his show. So it's meant to bring him glory, you know. So yes, of course everything that comes out of it is gonna be to glorify the Lord. So and that's what I always pray before every episode, Lord. Just I just want to glorify you and let your will be done. And yes. <laughs> takes yes. a lot of pressure off of me as the host, but every time guests come on, they bring the they bring the story, they bring the everything, you know, that comes from the Lord, but you know, it's just, I usually just have to listen and be blessed. So yes, it's, it's awesome. I love it. I love it so yes. much. Yeah, me too. Me too. And, and, you know, we learn from each other. Yes. And uh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, so that's, uh, that's amazing too. Yes. I love it's it. so amazing. Everybody has a different way of doing things. And so mm -hmm. then you get kind of bounce ideas off of each other and yes. learn from each other. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's, it's a, it's such a fun thing. And I would encourage, how would you encourage somebody who knows that God has called them to do something, but maybe they're scared. Maybe they don't know what, what step to take. They don't know how to go about it. How would you encourage them? Mm. If you feel God calling you to do something, pray about it. Talk to him about it. Yes. You know, let him know. I mean, if you have some fears about it, uh, let him know what those yeah. fears are. But don't let fear yeah. stand in your way. Right. Don't let it keep you from mm -hmm. doing what he's calling you to do. Because if you feel that strongly that he's calling you to do something, you just take that first step. Mm -hmm. Step mm -hmm. out. And he is right there with you yes. and he will help you with, with all the other steps. Right. Uh, you know, when you think about Noah, mm -hmm. he didn't know anything about building a boat, right. but God right. had told him he needed to build this ark. The rains right. were coming. The flood mm -hmm. was coming right. and people made fun of him. And I'm sure they would laugh and, uh, you know, what in the world is this man doing? And, but he was steadfast in his faith. Yes. He knew he was that close to God and yeah. he knew that this is what God was calling him to do. Right. So he in faith uh, continued to, I mean, God just downloaded everything he needed you know <laughs> the measurements and all mm -hmm. and what kind of wood to make and make it i mean just everything so yeah. uh and and i just uh, always think about noah as as being one of the most um men with faith uh, mm -hmm. or person with faith uh that we read about in the bible and um but uh just you know have the faith of noah 
and yeah. uh, and just uh, yeah, step out, step out, and and start doing it, and continue doing it until he gives you uh, another. You know, you you stay the course, you stay the course, and until he might change the course. You know, so uh, he does that sometimes too. <laughs> But uh, and then you stay that course. So, right. yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. what I would encourage you to do is to just talk to the Lord about it and and t ask him to take away all the fears yeah. and, and to, you know, open up that that door. Right. And, uh, you know, then you step out and yes. then you do you just continue doing it and yeah. um, stay steadfast and stay the course. Yes, exactly. And God will strengthen you along the way. He'll give you strength for he each will. and every day, each step, each each part of this this whole path that he, mm -hmm. he leads you on. He'll give you yes. everything that you need. He'll supply all of your needs for it. And just like you said, Noah, I mean, it took years and years and years to build the ark without any rain. So imagine how he was, <laughs> he might have done I mean, I'm not going to claim that he doubted, but I know I would have doubted if I was spending years and years and years doing something and I never saw any rain, but he, he yeah. be doing it. And so sometimes it takes years and years and years to see whatever God, you know, whatever <laughs> our destiny or see the promise fulfilled. Yeah. And yeah. So yeah. it just takes that faith and talk about yeah. hearing from the Lord. I mean, he knew, like you said, down to the measurements. <laughs> Yes. Down to wood to use. That takes yes. space. I have to think, oh, this isn't just some random thought in my head. That's this right. That's space. right. That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. and, and you too have to keep a strong foundation. Yes. Um, and that is uh, faith yes. in the Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you have to. Um, uh, build your faith, not on sand, not or build your foundation, not on sand, uh, but on your, your faith and um, strong, strong faith in the Lord. Yes. yes. Strong faith. And yes. And he will, he will carry you through. That is wonderful advice, such great wisdom. And so you also have some books. Don't you've written books. I have, I have one. Uh, it, the Lord was was good to me. He gave me a um, a one woman show um, wow. in a, a character, mm -hmm. uh, Mitzi Lou Puppernickel. And okay. I had written I've been a storyteller since the early 90s and had oh. written some stories uh, through the years. And uh, I think it was about 2014 or something. So it's been a while uh, since my book uh, came out. But um, just a closer stumble with thee. And it is uh, through my character's voice. She is a Southern hairdresser. Oh. Well, tacky. Uh, <laughs> and um, so she uh, has uh, uh, she tells the stories. And some are true, some are uh, not so true, but um, uh, all about our uh, not so steady walk with the Lord. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's on Amazon. It's on Amazon. Wow. I will have to get a copy of that. That's amazing. <laughs> They're <laughs> short stories, a very easy read, and uh, uh, so uh, fun. Oh, it sounds fun. It sounds like a lot of fun. It sounds very real. <laughs> Even though some of it's not real, but, you know, something that we would actually, you know, believable in all that. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I also did a CD, uh, oh, Tales what? to Crow About. And oh. these are like seven and eight years, uh, years up. And these are stories that I also have written uh, with life lessons. So, um, so I have that as well, but yeah, yeah, but uh, it's been a while. It's been a while, like I say, but uh, I feel like God is, is wanting me to come back out a little bit, you know, and uh, do some of these things. So we'll yeah. see what he has, what he, what he has. That is so amazing and so encouraging, you know, for 
<laughs> all of our listeners to just hear your story and know that all throughout the course of your life, you've just been open to be used by God mm. and do whatever he's led you to do, whatever he's calling you to do, and always being excited to to do more for the kingdom. And that is so awesome, so encouraging, and such a blessing, such a oh. blessing to hear from you today. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you. Thank yeah. you. And you are a blessing as well. And uh, so, yeah, I look forward to, for, for you, your, your, your uh, podcast, a video uh, with me will be coming out shortly. So looking yeah. forward to that. Yes. Be on the lookout for that guys it's coming out. I think it's next week, right? Is it next week or the week after yep. next, next Tuesday, next Tuesday, next Tuesday morning, 11 a.m. Eastern time, Facebook yes. and YouTube. Yes. I can't <laughs> wait. I'll be sharing it too. So yeah. Well, thank yeah. you so much, Janet, for being here. It's been such You're an welcome. honor and blessing to have you here. Uh, I absolutely loved it. And I hope that you'll come back. Oh, uh, I will. I will. Absolutely. Absolutely. And thank you. You're thank you. It's been a blessing to me as well. Oh, such a blessing, such a blessing. And you're very welcome. And thank you guys so much for listening. I hope you have a wonderful day and God bless you all. Bye-bye.